Thanks for staying with us. And Bill O'Reilly in the personal story segment tonight has Jerry Falwell damaged the religious right. Appearing on Pat Robertson's 700 Club, Falwell said this. Well, the ACLU's got to take a lot of blame for this. Oh, yeah. And I know I'll hear from them for this, but uh, throwing God or successfully with the help of the federal court system, yes. throwing God out of the public square, out of the schools. Uh, the abortionists have got to bear some burden for this because uh, God will not be mocked and when we destroy 40 million little innocent babies, we make God mad. I, I really believe that the pagans and the abortionists and the feminists and the gays and the lesbians who are actively trying to make that an alternative lifestyle, the ACLU, People for the American Way, all of them who tried to secularize America, I point the thing in their face and say, you helped this happen. Well, I, I totally concur. Well, the Reverend has since apologized for those remarks, but is the damage irreversible? Joining us now from Washington is Andrea Lafferty, the executive director of the Traditional Values Coalition, and David Korn, the Washington editor of The Nation magazine. Mr. Korn, what say you? Well, I don't know if he's damaged the religious right entirely, but he certainly has damaged himself. I think he lost tremendous credibility, as did Pat Robertson. I, I, for one, don't believe they should have had much to begin with, but I believe they showed their true colors. I mean, earlier in that program, Jerry Falwell said that America probably got what it deserves. Now, he and Osama bin Laden are the only two people who believe this was an act of God and that America is being punished because of religious matters. All right, it's but if these, two men, if these two men are the faces of the religious right, if they're the most famous people, yeah. um, why would you say that that cause would not be damaged by their behavior? Well, I think there are other people in the religious right who I think maybe act out of better faith than these people, but certainly when you're two leading figures, and uh, with apologies to and Andrea Lafferty, who also is a figure of the religious right, but when your two leading figures come out and say these things, and their apologies really are quite meaningless if you look at them today, I think that people have to wonder what's going on with a movement that puts any faith and credibility in people like this. All right, Mr. L Ms. Lafferty, what do you think? Well, first of all, you know, the obituary of the religious right has been written more times than bad checks. You know, the religious right, as, as some people would like to call it, is really millions and millions of people across the country that live in Keokuk, Iowa, and other places that, that have strongly held beliefs. And, and, and they're not going anywhere. But are they going to reject Robertson and Falwell now? Well, I think that, you know, Falwell has retracted or whatever his statements, but I think, you know, all of this pales in comparison to what happened last week and what's going to happen in the future. We are going to send our, our young people to a, a, a foreign land, and we need to make sure that they have opportunities to have faith, to have chaplains there. We're going to be working with the chaplain's corps All right, well, to that's make great, sure. and, I, and, I'm, and if anybody denies any chaplain any access, you let well, me know. Well, but no, I, I got to tell you, problem. you can't, diminish, you, you can't Ms. Lafferty, diminish the impact of these remarks. And believe me when I tell you that everybody I know is appalled. And I know some very conservative, very religious people. And everybody, there's nobody that I know that can justify, condone, uh, defend those remarks. Are you going to defend them? No, I mean, I, I, that's not why I was brought on the show. My understanding was, as your other guest said, this is the demise no, I don't, of the I religious No, I mean, I just right. want to know what you think. I, I mean, you're brought well, on the uh, program uh, to give me your opinion, that's all. Bill, this is a good test for people like Andrea here. I mean, what do you say? Will you be working with Pat Robertson and Jerry Falwell in the future? Uh, are, are there opinions, are there views worth collaborating with? Well, Ms. Lafferty, well, are you going to work with we, them in the you know, future? We have been, we have agreed on issues. We're going to disagree on issues. We've disagreed. Oh, but in this, the past. this is more than that. Yeah, this I is mean, a tone. I of don't believe I mean, we have. Are we have a God of mercy, a God of love? I don't think God said I'm going to strike these people dead in New York. All right. No. So I'm glad that about that. But if you do have individuals, and I, I firmly believe that Reverend Falwell and Reverend Robertson do believe in a vengeful God. I believe that they believe what they said and they're well, they're apologizing now because they know they're in a lot of trouble but it, i believe knowing these guys and having spoken with them both they believe in a vengeful god that are going to smite people who you know well, do things that I they don't, don't agree with I mean, 
You no, know, it's I, even worse. It's even worse than that. They're not, they just don't. They're not just believing in a God that smites the sinners or the people yeah, who the perform abortions. They're believing in a God that smites the innocents because there are people in this country well, who support abortion rights or gay rights. That's what they believe, and I think that's you know quite horrendous. And you know, but uh, unfortunately, it's nothing new. At least for Pat Robertson. Right, but it is. No, 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 no. It's new in the sense that that you might have thought that. But these guys. Pat Robertson has said things like this in the past. Well, nothing like I can this. Well, I don't, nothing like this. Miss Lafferty, you know, go ahead. <laughs> Again, you know, I, I haven't had a specific conversation with either one of them about this particular thing that's this terrible thing that's happened. But we do have a God of mercy and a God of love. But I, you know, there are folks that believe that there is sin in the land, but I don't believe God struck those well, people. Well, I'm glad dead you don't believe it, but you're dodging the question. Are you going to deal with these guys anymore or are you going to cut them off? Well, we're going to agree on some things. We definitely so don't agree on this. So you are going to deal this. with them. Now, I think that damages your organization to deal with them. I could have had uh, Falwell on tonight, but I don't want to hear the apology. I mean, because I, mean, I, don't, I question, believe he's just doing it for well, political are, reasons. I mean, a, a, question, a good question, Bill, is, and you're putting it to, uh, to Andrew here, is after making remarks like this, should these f people have any credibility with the religious right or with the media or anyone else? Ms. Lafferty? Again, I don't gr agree with that. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that happen on the left. People, you, yeah, you all but you're agree. deflecting now. You're deflecting. You, if you got, if your organization, the traditional values organization, embraces deals with or anything like that, and I'm, I'm not saying you shouldn't forgive them personally because we all should forgive everybody personally, but your organization is going to be damaged, Ms. Lafferty, if, you, if you're tied into guys like this and everyone's going to remember well, we are, those remarks. We're a separate organization. I'll tell you, our, our people are very concerned about what's happened. They're going to continue to be engaged in the culture. Were they outraged about Robertson? But, but they're, 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 Did I'm you get calls from your people saying that's unacceptable behavior? I have uh, people, well, I've spoken with individuals over the course of the last few days that are concerned about that statement. Um, you know, we again, we believe we have a God of mercy, a God of love. Uh, but concerned and, I don't but and angry are two different things. Are they a little it's teed off? It, it's interesting because Andrea here won't say that she will not work with Pat Robertson and Jerry Fall in the but future. But that's her right, I Mr. Cohen. I mean, if it, she no, wants it, to work with them, she it, can it, work it with them. It is certainly her right, but there are a lot of coalitions that they work on together. And I just I, want I to know, with, I work should, with, should, should, we, be, should we listen to Pat Robertson and Jerry Fall on other matters that you may agree with them with in the future now that we know right, how they see the world? you and I, Mr. Cohen, well, you know, one thing that's great about America is that people have a right, whether you agree with them or not, to, you know, to say things that take certain positions. Sure, but if and you we, do, and, and of course, no if one you says do, no. you, you can say what you want, but then you have to take what comes. Ms. Lafferty, Mr. Corn, we appreciate your time very much. Sam, we'll let the audience make up their own mind about that. And when we come back, there was, was there, I should say, another hijacking that was foiled last Tuesday. Rita Cosby with some new inside information from the investigation. And we would like to read your letter. I'm sure there'll be a lot of reaction to that segment. The O'Reilly Factor, Fox News Channel, 1211 Avenue of the Americas, New York, New York, 10036. Name in town, name in town, name in town. Keep it pithy, if you would. And The Factor will come back right after these announcements of interest.